So analyze the voltage divider circuit using exact and approximate analysis and derive the expressions for both the methods okay so you have to analyze the voltage divider circuit using both the methods exact and approximate analysis so before going on to the topic let me uh, draw the circuit diagram of voltage divider bias okay so simple circuit diagram of voltage divider bias you will be having resistor re across the collector you have your resistor rc across your input you have your resistor r1 as well as your r2 right and you will be having your vcc output is taken across the collector so you will be having your coupling capacitor c2 and input is taken across the base so you will be having coupling capacitor c1 with vi right so this will be your circuit diagram of a voltage divider biasing so why do you go for voltage divider biasing the current ib will be you are going to make it independent of a beta okay so that is one of the advantage of your voltage divider biasing so first let me go to your exact analysis okay in the case of exact analysis what you are going to do is across the input side you are applying you are going to apply the thevenin's equivalent circuit so how i can uh, draw the circuit in case of dc analysis what do you do you will open circuit your both the capacitors so if i can redraw the circuit once again open circuiting the capacitor what you will be getting you will be getting resistor re right resistor rc across the input you will be having your r1 as well as your r2 so this is going to be your base collector and emitter so i am going to draw this bcc separately uh, capacitors are open circuited right so i can again redraw the circuit as the input side i can draw it as so you have your re you have your r1 across the base you have your r2 and here i can draw your vcc right both are equal so i have redrawn the circuit and now i am going to apply the thevenin equivalent circuit towards the input side so how will you what is meant by thevenin equivalent circuit any complex circuit can be converted into an so this is vcc right can be converted into a thevenin equivalent um, voltage along with the thevenin's resistance so so if i can find out step 2 i am going to find out what is your rth in order to find out what is your rth you have to just short your vcc so what will be your circuit so in the input side i am shorting your vcc so you will be having only two resistors right so this is your r1 this is your r2 parallel combination so rth will be equal to r1 parallel to r2 now you have got your rth now can i find out what is your eth if i open circuit here plus minus this will be your eth right eth how will you find out eth i can apply the voltage division rule right vcc into the resistance r2 divided by total number of resistance so the eth will be equal to so for clarity let me write okay so you will be getting this as r2 so this will be your eth so eth will be equal to the total supply voltage vcc into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 how you are getting this by applying voltage division rule okay so now you have got the thevenin equivalent voltage so once you have got the thevenin equivalent voltage and your thevenin equivalent resistance can i um, redraw the circuit once again so how will you get your circuit so eth this will be your eth along with your rth along with your input side and your re r right so the current here the current flowing is equal to ib and here i can take it as ie now can i uh, apply the kvl across the loop so what you will be getting minus to plus so plus eth right here it is plus to minus the current is ib so minus ib into rth 
here what is the voltage plus to minus it is VDE right so minus VDE here it is plus to minus so minus IE RE is equal to 0 but you know that IE is approximately equal to beta plus 1 into IB so I am substituting the value ETH minus IB into RTH minus VDE right instead of IE I am substituting beta plus 1 into IB into RE is equal to 0 take IB as common so you will be getting ETH minus IB into so here you will be getting RTH plus here you will be getting beta plus 1 into RE minus VBE is equal to 0. So from this can I calculate what is your IB? IB is equal to what will be the value ETH minus VBE divided by RTH plus beta plus 1 into RE right I have got IB also. So if you know IB you know what is IC. IC is equal to beta into IB right instead of IB you can substitute this value. Once you have found out what is your IC your next is you are going to find out what is your BCEQ. In order to find out BCEQ you have to apply KVL across your output loop okay. So I will draw the circuit once again across your output you will be the emitter you will be having your RE, RC, DCC, DC circuit right. So here you will be getting R1 and here you will be getting R2 right. So this will be your VCC. So if I apply KVL across the output loop what you will be getting plus VCC here it is plus to minus current is equal to IC. So minus IC RC right then plus to minus BCE so minus BCE here again it is plus to minus the current is equal to IE. So minus IE RE is equal to 0. So you know that IE is approximately equal to IC. So you will be getting VCC minus IC RC minus VCE minus IC into RE is equal to 0. So VCC minus take IC as common RC plus RE minus VCE is equal to 0. So what will be your VCE? VCE will be equal to VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. So you have got the quizzent value for VCEQ also. So finally let me summarize once again. So what are the different values for your uh, Exact analysis, exact analysis equation 1 you are going to find out your RTH, RTH will be equal to R1 parallel to R2, then ETH will be equal to VCC into R2 divided by R1 plus R2, right, equation 1, equation 2. Once you have found out RTH and ETH, you can find out what is your IB, IB is equal to ETH minus VBE divided by RTH plus beta plus 1 into RE that is equation 4 and you sorry equation 3. Now if you have found out IC you know that IB you know that what is IC beta into IB okay and last you are going to find out VC is equal to VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. So these are the five equations you have to apply for your exact analysis. Next we will see the approximate analysis. So now we will see the approximate analysis right. So in the case of approximate analysis you are going to check a condition. Approximate analysis you will be checking the condition if beta into RE is greater than or equal to 10 times of R2. So what is that meaning? So if I draw the circuit once again RE and RC, R1 and R2 across the input side R1, R2 if I give here VCC, VCC. 
So what is the meaning? Beta will be approximately equal to a higher value, right? If I take it as 100, if beta into RE is greater than or equal to 10 times of R2, if these two values are very, very greater, what will happen to the current flowing here? The current will take the lowest resistance path, right? If this resistance is very high, I can neglect, I can tell that the value for IB is approximately equal to zero. The current I1 will be equal to I2. So IB will be approximately equal to zero and the current I1, the entire current will flow through your R1 and R2, right? So you have to take this input side into your consideration. So what you can do, first you have, you have to find out what is the voltage VB that is from the base to the ground. What is your from the base to the ground? You can apply the voltage division rule. Okay, so step one, you are going to find out what is the value for VB, applying voltage division rule. What you will be getting the total supply voltage VCC into the resistor VB is across resistor R2, R2 divided by R1 plus R2, right? So this will be your equation one. Now you know the total voltage from the base to the ground is equal to VB. You know from here to your emitter it is VB, right? And what will be your this value VE? So I can find out VE is equal to the total voltage VB minus VBE. So I can write VE is equal to VB minus VBE. Directly I can write the equation. If you have found out VE, can you find out what is IE? IE will be equal to VE divided by RE, Ohm's law, right? You have found out IE is equal to VE divided by I. RE. So, you know that IC is approximately equal to IE which will be equal to the same value VE divided by RE. So, take this as equation 3. So, what will be your next VC? In order to find out VC, you apply KVL across the output loop. There is no change. It is same as that of the exact analysis. So, when you apply the output loop, what you will be getting? VCC minus IC into I am going to I am not going to repeat it once again. IC RC minus VCE minus IE RE is equal to 0. So directly you will be getting VC is equal to VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. Okay. So what are the five equations? So first equation is VB is equal to VCC into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Second equation V is equal to VB minus VBE. Third equation I is equal to VE divided by RE. Fourth equation, IC is equal to approximately equal to IE. And fifth equation, you have VCE. Okay. So, if I write the compare uh, comparison, so this will be your approximate analysis. And for exact analysis, if I write it once again, what are the equations you have to find out? RTH is equal to R1 parallel to R2. ETH is equal to VCC into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Then IB is equal to ETH minus VBE divided by RTH plus beta plus 1 into RE, right? And IC is equal to beta into IB and VC is equal to VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. So, if you compare these two equations, VCE will be equal and ETH and your VB, VB will be equal. Okay.